Do you ever think about your own funeral? I mean, what would you like for people to say about you? He's really gonna be missed. That'd be nice, sir. He made a huge difference. I'd like for my contributions to be appreciated. Of course, there's the Southern funeral home staple, don't he look good? What I think I'd really like for people to say though is, look, he's breathing. Death is, is frightening. And the fear of death can take all the joy out of living. Every culture, every religion, every age has some way of trying to deal with our fear of dying. One expert even stated that she was finding millennials to be the most afraid. A couple of years ago, The Atlantic published an article titled, Eating Toward Immortality, Diet Culture is Just Another Way of Dealing with the Fear of Death, which makes absolutely no sense to me because I always feel like I'm about to die when I'm on a diet. Look, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make light of something as serious as death because I know many of us are genuinely afraid. Some of us know that the years we have left are a mere fraction of the years we've already lived. It's easy for me to, to kind of poke fun at death right now because if actuarial tables are correct and I don't suffer any disease or disaster, I've, I've got a good number of years left. But I hope that my attitude about death is based on something more substantial than how many years I've got left. I, I want it to be based on my faith in what God did that miraculous Sunday morning three days after the cross. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 through 5, through 5 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. If you're a Christian, not only is your past rewritten, not only are you empowered to deal with whatever present throws at you, your future is protected. Shielded is the word Peter used. The resurrection of Jesus means that death, as far as you are concerned, has been defeated. It is not the last chapter in your story. It's the beginning of a whole new edition. Not a sermon, just a thought.